Only on to tonight, we begin with the story of sacrifice and survival. 18 years ago, the attacks of 9-11 left nearly 3,000 people dead, our country in pain. Today, we honor those innocent lives that were lost. Low Country First responders paid their respects during a day of remembrance. News 2's Deanne Roberts tells us about a North Charleston firefighter who served as a New York City firefighter during the attacks. She brings us his story of survival. It happened on Tuesday. That's why I'm still here. 18 years later, Steve Gillespie, a retired lieutenant with the New York City Fire Department, is sharing his story for the first time. It was my day off. My wife called me and told me that a plane had hit the World Trade Center. When I got to the TV to see what was happening, I was shocked. September 10th, 2001, Gillespie was on duty. September 11th, 2001, Gillespie was in the Bronx on his day off. That day, all six members of my firehouse were killed on September 11th. Now all that's left are memories. Every time we backed into the firehouse, I would thank each one of them individually. The pictures are right on the right. And I would thank each one of them for bringing us back safely. After serving nearly 20 years in New York, he moved to North Charleston for a fresh start. But he never forgets. I think about my brothers all the time. He now leans on his new brotherhood the North Charleston Fire Department. Father, we ask that you will strengthen all those who still mourn. North Charleston Fire and Police Departments and the community honoring the 343 first responders Wednesday who died during and after 9-11. We need to honor them, we need to respect them, and we need to love them. It's especially important as first responders that we remember the sacrifice of those who died in the line of duty. And that's what many first responders are doing, especially Gillespie, even though this time of year is difficult. How do you get through it? I try to think of all the good things, all the funny stories that we had with them. They were a bunch of characters. Carrying his brother's legacies while honoring the many victims and still sacrificing with current first responders. Gillespie spent countless days working after the attacks. He says he never had survivor's guilt. However, he did develop post-traumatic stress disorder. He now does lectures with other low country first responders on how he went from post-traumatic stress to post-traumatic growth. I'm reporting in studio, Deanne Roberts, Count On Two.